We're feasting today. <laughs> Look around the room and see these beautiful people worshiping with you today, celebrating the life divine with you today, remembering themselves, their real selves today, and cast a dynamic prayer on behalf of all of these beings that the spirit of the living God may come alive in these beings and know itself as everyone here. That we have a moment in which all flesh shall hear and see it together. Cast a blessing on all of these beings. Now look at the beings sitting right next to you and realize how precious they are. That, that's a one-of-a-kind being you're sitting next to. There's, there'll never be another being exactly like that being right there. And there'll never be another being exactly like you. God doesn't do do-overs and the presence of God never repeats itself. That's why we say that God is infinite. And so in that precious moment with that precious being, look at them and say, oh my God. Oh my God. There is such radiant beauty in you. There's such, beauty. There's such dynamic joy in you. There's such dynamic joy. Infinite power and gratitude is in you. Dynamic prosperity and abundance is in you. Infinite potential is in you. The spiritual mark of success is upon you. And you shall triumph over everything and live in the vitalizing victory of God and change the world for the better. Let's be this. Let's do this, Let's do this. Together. together. And so it is. And so it is. Give up some love, touch and agree. Touch and agree. Come into a vibrational alignment with the words that you just spoke to each other. You spoke truth into each other. You spoke love into each other. You spoke that which is real into each other. Thus, since the moment you walked across campus of Agape, you came under a, a, a vibrational veil of love. You were pulled out of the illusion of separation. You were breaking through the fog of distance between you and God and coming into a dynamic harmony of your oneness with pure spirit. And now that you have spoken truth into each other, now that you have heard the voice of God through our uh, practitioners and, uh, and our choir, the word that you're speaking has power. And it is freeing you uh, from the dissidence, freeing you from the fear and the doubt and the worry and that seeming sense of separation that moves through human consciousness. You're not in that anymore. Be aware that you're not in that anymore. You've come up to another atmosphere, another vibratory frequency, and I want you to begin to acknowledge that, even in this instant, that your frequency has changed since the moment you walked into this room. Your vibration has been up-leveled. Up and in so being, you are vibrationally coming into an agreement with yourself. Self is capitalized. You're coming into an alignment and a vibrational agreement with your true self and your real self, the, the spiritual self, the ahistorical self, the self that doesn't have a beginning and doesn't have an ending, a self that has no history at all. It is simply the emanation of God forever and ever and ever unfolding its infinitude, its beauty, its love, and its joy according to your unique pattern. The moment you began to vibrate at that higher frequency and you intended to be here, you didn't get here by accident. Well, a couple of you may have. <laughs> now, I say that because I can remember going to a, a conference one time and, and, and there was a gentleman who was the guest speaker and we all, the board had all gone out to see this gentleman uh, because he was talking about church building and this type of thing. So we went out to see, it was at Robert Schuler's uh, a church program and he got up and he began to speak and he said, he took a, a walk and he bumped into this church called Agape. And they represented everything he was about to teach. And he had never been there before. And he said, and they weren't one of us. <laughs> and so you could be here by accident, but that was an on purpose for that guy. And this is an on purpose for you. Point being, you're vibrating at a higher frequency. You're coming to a vibrational harmony with your real self. You're, you're, you are disavowing. In other words, you're breaking your vows that you have made from the lesser self, and you're breaking your agreement 
with the lesser self, the, the historical self, the historical self that creates a construct of reality based on its thoughts about reality. And so as we, we have, we, this is what we've been talking about this month, that this historical self creates a construct of reality based on thoughts about reality. The false self or the temporary self or the historical self creates false gods by gleaning happiness from something outside of themselves. And every time you think that something outside of yourself is making you happy, that's a false god. The, the, the historical self creates a construct, it creates false gods, and then it creates coping mechanisms and defense mechanisms and compulsive behaviors to make you pseudo-happy within the construct that you are creating. So you're never quite in bliss or in ecstasy because your joy and your happiness and peace is coming from a false god. Something has to be a certain way outside of yourself. And this historical self that you are now breaking an agreement with, it attacks you when you begin to break free. When you begin to come to the edge of that particular paradigm, and stand and proclaim who and what you really are, the image and likeness of God, the pure spirit of God, the presence of God, the dynamic spiritual being that you are, as you begin to proclaim that and then garner your power through affirmative prayer and meditation and life visioning and sacred service and generosity and study and high fellowship, the moment you begin to escape and become free from the lesser paradigm or the mental construct that you created, the historical self via its implement called the ego attacks you, creates all kinds of fear and consternation about you becoming more you. That is called the war between the flesh and the spirit. Yes. That is the spirit saying I'm infinite, unfettered. Free. I have no history. Oh, say that. I have no history. I have no history. I have no history. I embrace unfolding mystery. The moment you begin to live at that dynamic level, then all hell breaks free. I'm talking about the, the stagnant thoughts and perceptions, misuse of your imagination and misperception about what has happened to you and claiming an identity based on past experience. That begins to break up and keep you within the confines of limitation and the war between the flesh and the spirit is on. But as you continue to walk forward in your prayer and in your meditation and your sacred service, your study, your high consciousness conversations that you have with each other, there's a glimmer of insight that begins to occur. And as I began to speak about this a little bit on, on Wednesday night, you begin to notice that you've been looking at the world of appearances and calling it reality. And then you begin to, to break free and the glimmers of light begin to, pen, begin to penetrate the sense of that filter that the false self is creating and you begin to see the world differently. You don't just see the, the world of calamity and appearances. You see opportunities. You see possibilities. You see openings. You even begin to see your assignment in the world that you're now seeing differently. So instead of seeing, oh my God, isn't this awful? You see, oh, I've got an assignment over there. I've got an assignment to give over there. I've got an assignment to love over there. I've got to activate my potential because somebody needs me over there. You begin to see the world differently. And then as you keep on going, keep on praying, keep on meditating, something else happens and you begin to see a different world totally. So at one level, you see the world of appearances. Second level, you see the world differently. Third level, you see a different world. You see the spiritual world that's been blocked by the perception and the filters of the historical self that has primarily identified you with experience and identified your happiness with something outside of yourself, creating a false god. Oh, this is good stuff. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is good. I love listening to it. I get it first. Now, now listen, as we begin to continue our work, what happens is, as the topic would indicate, 
we begin to remember our true future. I want you to just own that say, I can remember my future. <laughs> I'm remembering my future right now. <laughs> In other words, as an acorn remembers the oak tree, as the rose seed remembers the rose bush, you begin to remember your sacred future. Remember the past, the present, and the future are happening simultaneously. You begin to remember your future. And it's a good future. It's an unfolding of an infinite, magnificent idea. You begin to remember this. We have a shared future and we have an individual future. And we begin to remember it. And as we do this work, talking about get down, we do this work, you come to a moment where you simultaneously have a, a, an amnesia and deja vu at the same time. <laughs> In other words, you wake up and you totally forget your past. You have amnesia, but you have deja vu. It feels like you've been here before, and that's your homecoming. You like you come into a space where, where amnesia is taking away the past because you're not primarily identifying yourself that way anymore. You're no longer introducing yourself by what happened to you in the past. I know it's hard. I know it's hard because uh, you, you got to cling on to that identity because if you don't have identity, that identity, what do you have? The ego doesn't know about infinitude. The ego doesn't know about this expanded perception. The ego doesn't know about freedom. The ego doesn't know about a, a, a being, a part of you, the major part of you, the largest part of you that has no history at all. It only has a moment by moment by moment by moment awareness of the ineffable that is trying to become more of itself through and as you. And so when you begin to have amnesia about your past and come into a deja vu moment of, oh, I've been here before, it's a homecoming, I'm here, now you're remembering your future. And it becomes a strong attractor field to pull out of you the potential, the possibilities, which are infinite, mind you, the activation of talents and gifts. Your the attractor field of a remembered future pulls out of you the gifts and the talents and the potential that is trying to happen but it's being thwarted by a remembered future based on your past. You are not to remember your future based on your past because as a historical meaning, you have no past. You have now. Now the future that you're remembering is bright, it's glowing, it's magnificent. What is the baseline for that remembrance of the future? The base vibrational baseline is I establish myself in the feeling tone that all of my needs are met. The baseline is I establish the feeling tone that I live in a friendly universe and everything is working together for my good. I establish the, the, the baseline of a feeling tone that something good is about to happen. Now, you ever had that feeling? Yeah. You wake up and you say, oh, I don't know what it is, but I just something's in the air. I just feel something good's about to happen. Yeah. Now, you know you can create that. Yeah. You can actually come into that feeling. So, so if you have a baseline, of all of my needs met. Remember, you're not creating a false god by looking outside of yourself and saying all of my needs are met. You're going inside. God is within you. All of my needs are met. You're, you're creating a, 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 a dynamic awareness that the universe is friendly. Everything is working together for my good. All things are working together for good. Everything works together for good for they who love the Lord live according to its dynamic purpose. You're stepping into that awareness and then you sneak up on it by saying, I just feel something good's about to happen. And so you begin to develop a, a, a kind of a joyful availability for more good. Now what's happening here is you're beginning to remember your future. At those, if you hold those three dynamics, you'll have amnesia about your past, and you'll have a deja vu moment. Oh, I've been here. This is home. This is home. And then the sacred beauty will take over your soul. Beauty, beautiful, be you to full, be you to full, be you to the fullest. That's what beautiful is. It is you being you to the fullest. So you will wake up and you will say, you won't look to circumstances and situations to try to manipulate them. You'll simply say, I'm going to be me to the fullest. I'm going to be beautiful. Be you to full. You will step in this frequency, in this vibration. Now, this is a sacred law of mind and action. 
There's a sacred law that, that mirrors and matches your predominant thoughts and feelings. Now, if you wake up and say, I'm beautiful, you wake up and say, be you too full. I'm going to be me to the fullest. The sacred law matches that vibration. And then you find that that thing that you were anticipating, like something good's about to happen. And you, you find that the feeling that the universe is friendly, and you find that all of your needs are met. It does manifest without your making it happen. It manifests because you're now a vibrational frequency of welcoming it. In other words, get out of your own way. Stop complaining about everything. Stop uh, projecting the past into your future. Would you finally slay that inner curmudgeon? Would you, would you finally stop letting it run the show? You know what it is. It's a scaredy cat. You know it's so afraid because the past has been so gloomy according to its perception. It is scared. And so it has to build up a certain egoic bravado uh -huh. and, 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 you know, and real, and, and, and pretends what it's saying is real, but it's realistic. It's not real. Yeah. That which is real is eternal. Yeah. That which is real is forever. Yeah. That which is real is of the joy. That which is real is of the abundance. But you have to become still enough to catch it. Your egoic buster. It's not going to get it there. That sense of separation and it's fear mongering. It's not going to get it there. The finger pointing is not going to get it there. It's right here. Amnesia, deja vu. I'm forgetting my past. I've been here before. I feel this has happened before. I'm remembering my future. I'm being pulled by the strong attractor field of this future. My baseline. All needs are met. Say it, all of my needs are met. All, needs are met. all needs are met right now. I feel it in my bones. My baseline, my baseline. The universe is friendly. The universe is I live in a friendly universe. Friendly Everything, universe. Is Everything is working together for my good. Feel into that right now. Feel into that. Now sneak up upon this one. I, I feel, I feel something good's about to happen. Say that. <laughs> Agree with somebody, turn to a neighbor and say, yeah, I feel something good's about to happen. <laughs> to, turn to another neighbor and say, I feel something good's about to happen. <laughs> now let's make it the triumphant. Take another person in front of behind you and look at them and say, you know, I feel something good is about to happen. <laughs> and slap five on that, just like a touch and agree. Now these things that I've just given you, are very, very simple. I'm talking about simplicity. As, as, as uh, Stacy and Ricky were up here singing, uh, God ain't complicated. Simple. I'm giving you some simple things. And, and if you can just pull away and have amnesia for a moment about the past and this projection into the future and just feel into this second, right? This second, this second. My need is met. This second, my need is met. This second, you know, the universe is for me. I think something good's about to happen. You take that. The attractor field of your future will pull you. The attractor field of, of, of the caterpillar, of, of the butterfly pulls the caterpillar to do some strange things. It starts to spin and create cocoon and does some weird stuff. But the attractor field of its, of its remembered future pulls it. And it begins to fly at a certain point. There's the Christ presence within you right now. You want to honor it and embrace it. There's a, a, a Buddha field within you right now. You want to honor it and, and embrace it. There's liberation within you right now. You want to honor it and embrace it. You'll have to slay the false gods of that which you think makes you happy outside of yourself. Because the moment you have a false god, if anything happens with it, your life falls apart. Your, 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 your happiness dissolves. But when you have the real god, 
You have the real God in you? Oh, my God. The full spectrum awareness happens. Calamity, as we've been saying this month, shifts to a lesson. Then lesson shifts to a gift. And you begin to say, oh, my God, I'm getting a great gift here. I got to unwrap it because I have no idea what it is. It feels interesting. It feels tough. But with my full spectrum of awareness and being pulled by a, a magnificent future, I receive the gift of my own transformation. Yes. I'm about to change again. Yes. I'm about to become more of myself again. Yes. I'm about to feel myself again. Yes. The construct is falling apart. The false god is dissolving. The coping mechanisms aren't necessary. Now feel into this. Take a breath. Feel into this. Because this, this is the work. The f- war between the flesh and the spirit. This is the work. It has evidence and it has all kinds of experiences that life is hard until you die. It has evidence and human experiences about how the universe is unfriendly. It has evidence and experiences of how things don't go right. But that evidence is coming from filters of separation. When you wake up, before you were blind, now you see the filters go. And you see you've been experiencing not God, not life, not joy. You've been experiencing your filters. You've been experiencing your limited perception. You've been experiencing the thought forms about reality. It's like, oh my God. Coming into an agreement with your self. Now you're consciously, come with me now, consciously you're breaking all vows that you made from your limited self. All vows around mediocrity, defense, coping, and compulsive behaviors. You're breaking all those vows. And you're saying, you know what? As Yogi Berra once said, the future ain't what it used to be. (laughs) The future ain't what it used to be. Before it was a trajectory of my limited self, now it's full on beauty and love and harmony and wholeness. Beautiful. Be. Be you too full. Be you too be you to the fullest. I think that's it. I think that's it. Be you too full. Hey, look at your neighbor. Say, be you too full. Look at your other neighbor. Be you too full. Be you too full. Be beautiful. Be you too full. Come with me now. Come with me. Come. Come on upstairs. Turn within. Where it all begins. Come on in here. There's plenty of room in the upper room. There's plenty of room. There's no space nor time in the upper room. Plenty of room in the upper room. Come on with me. Come on into the upper room. Allow for your heart to break open with thanksgiving and gratitude. Allow for your heart to open up with pure appreciation. Cleanse those eyes from misperception. Cleanse your eyes 
and then your conversation will follow. Cleanse your eyes, cleanse your heart, cleanse your mouth. And let's enter into the gates with praise and thanksgiving. Have you ever just praised each other? Just talked about each other so good, just as Dr. Johnson used to call, just spiritually gossip about each other? Let's try it for a couple of days in a row. Did anything that comes out of your mouth is just spiritual gossip? Oh, she was looking good. He was really, he was really on it. She was really, and just whatever adjective that your higher self can just pull, just spiritually gossip about people. And you know what? They'll start to respond. They'll start to just feel what, 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 what's happening. There's a new atmosphere around them. So we turn within in this moment. And we spiritually gossip about ourselves. Repeat after me. I am beautiful. I'm wonderful. I'm, wonderful. I'm, magnificent. I'm magnificent. All of my needs are met. Everything is working together for my good. Oh, I'm so in love with life. I'm so in love with infinite potential. I'm so in love with, with dynamic greatness. The mark of success is upon me. And I confer it upon everyone that I see. So turning within in this moment and giving thanks and just pure gratitude for being awake, aware, and alive today and feeling a deep sense of, uh, of recognition that the presence is everywhere and a deep sense of unity with this dynamic presence. Oh my God, the word that is being spoken is a vibration of excellence. Say the word excellence. excellence. It's a vibration of excellence. What a beautiful word. Excellence. It's a vibration of beauty. Say beauty. beauty. Oh, it's a vibration of beauty. Oh, it's a vibration of abundance. Say abundance. abundance. Say opulence. opulence. Say prosperity. prosperity. Say all needs met. All needs Say met. spiritual power. Spiritual power. We have such a recognition of these spiritual qualities that we realize we can only see them because they're in with, because they're within us. Oh, we're projecting it now. We're beginning to see the new world, the new heaven, and the new earth. We are of one accord. All of us, one accord. Vibrationally, we are of one accord. And when individuals come together in our one accord, miracles can happen. So in this consciousness of being in one accord, I speak the word for each of us that represents the one of us here. The one God, the one power, the one presence, the one life, the one love, the one joy, the one intelligence flowing through us right now. Embracing the body temple which is so beautiful that every organ and every action, every function of our being is made every whit whole now. Every system, the sinew, the muscles, the cells, the atoms, the organs, Every aspect of the body temple is now coming into a soulful alignment with beauty and excellence right now. The mental body purified with clarity. The emotional body purified with a dynamic purity that comes from having a divine idea cascade through us. In the body of our affairs, elegance, order, Harmony, love is happening right now. When? 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 Oh, you are remembering your future. You're remembering the spirit of the living God saying, I know the thoughts that I think toward you thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. In the mind of God, there's a, a dynamic unfolding and, and you're remembering that future. Feel it. Remember it now. And give you a little taste. Ricky BB. Walking with no vision Waiting for a helping hand I 
salt water in a dry land. But one day, like the song says, ooh, a cold wind turned my head around. Circumstances knocked me to the ground. Magnified, vibrationally hold the hands of those who are streaming in from around the world. Presence them in this room with the other invisibles as our ancestors in angelic kingdom realm. And this place becomes a citadel of prayer now, in which, we, in which we are holding the absolute truth and knowing the truth about these beings. 